Okay, so this is our follow-up to our first video. Um, I'm going to try to detail some of the dimming uh, that's in these, uh, just to show you how sensitive the strip is. Um, now, part of this is is going to be due to the the little controller, the little DMX controller. Uh, every controller is different, but for my setup this year, for what I'm doing, that's what I've got. So that's what I'm testing with. Um, so I'm going to start fading up just in the red. And these are 1% uh, <coughs> increments at a time. So I go up, uh, that's 4% on, and you can start to see the little glow in there. So pretty low, and uh, we're starting to see a response already. This is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you can see that they really are uh, pretty sensitive. Um, gives a nice, smooth, even fade as we go up. Now we're at about 80% here. Um, I don't notice a large increase above about 75 to 80% on through the top end. Um, so there you can see that's, that's our red. Um, green will come back. Again, at about 4 or 5%, we start to see a little faint glow turning on. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, and it seems to be pretty equally sensitive on each of the colors. Um, we'll do the blue. Again, about 4%, 4 or 5%. Four there we start to see a real turn on. And then each one of these steps, that's a 1% increase going up. So overall, pretty decent, uh, pretty smooth fading on these LEDs. Um, I've been been doing most of these on just the, the little free software, uh, but I wanted to show that this does indeed work with Lightarama uh, as well. So I, I've got my control panel running here. You can see I'm running the uh, NTEC uh, OpenDMX dongle. Um, so I'm going to open up and let's see, this one is, what sequence is this? This is Nutrocker. So this one should be pretty, uh, pretty blinky flashy for you. But, um, you know, it, it'll give you an idea just how fast uh, the strip can change, what it'll actually look like. Um, these little strips down here in my sequencing window, that's the, the RGB strip that I'll be doing. So I'm going to go ahead and click play. Oh, I know what I did. I've got to flip my plug over to my dongle. So let's uh, unplug from our, from our programmer. And um, plug here into the Intec. Um, that's my little Intec Open DMX. Uh, so there you can see we're coming from this through our power supply, and then basically right into the strip, right into the DMX decoder. So here we'll try this again. We'll hit play. And you can see this stuff has a pretty good glow. It's kind of a light brown wall and, and it's uh it's daytime out. So pretty good color wash on these things too.
So you can see it color changes pretty fast and really kind of fades from one color nicely into the next one. And it's bright. Uh, it's, it's very, very bright. I would say it's uh, at least, at the very least, uh, pretty comparable to uh, a CCR, um, similar construction, similar brightness. Um, it just, again, this is non-digital strip. Um, this just goes straight RGB, uh, no individual pixel control. Um, but for the price and for what it does, uh, the ability to control it, especially for the DIY community, um, pretty neat stuff.